A second health care worker in Dallas is diagnosed with Ebola. Jenny is live at the commissioner's court where they are preparing for a news conference that's going to take place in about 30 minutes or so, right, Jenny? Yeah, so we're hoping to get some more information then. Meantime, some reverse 911 calls are being made in the area of where this second patient lived. You might remember that this uh, same protocol happened at Nina Pham's apartment building. So I want to take you to some images from Sky 4 as we are overhead right above that apartment complex. So this is uh, at Skillman and Village Bend, right near Lovers in Northeast Dallas. They're called the Village Bend Apartments. Flyers are also being handed out in the area. Uh, Dallas police are doing that. They are both in English and Spanish. So if you're somebody living in that area, you can expect a flyer if you do not get one of those reverse 911 calls, seeing that not everybody's got a, a landline or a phone set up there. So decontamination is in progress in this most recent patient apartments building. So. That's according to Dallas Police, and we found out about this, uh, really the test came back around midnight, and so authorities headed out there right away. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services, this healthcare worker also provided care for Thomas Eric Duncan. He was, of course, the first person to be diagnosed with Ebola in the United States. The second healthcare worker to test positive for Ebola here in the U.S. reported a fever yesterday and was immediately isolated in the hospital. Now, according to DSHS, health officials of, uh, here interviewed this patient's contacts to identify potential exposures. Those people, were told, are now going to be monitored. The Type of monitoring at this point really depends on the nature of their interactions and the potential that they were exposed to the virus. Zach Thompson spoke to us about what they've learned and about the changes that need to be made. This should be a lesson learned. Uh, we did control orders on Mr. Duncan's close contacts. I think in the future we have to look at control orders across the board uh, if the protocols are not followed or in place. So a preliminary test again was done late last night in Austin. A second one will be done at CDC headquarters in Atlanta. That's the same protocol that happened with the first patient here in Dallas. Again, we're awaiting that 7 a.m. media conference. So we're here at Dallas County Commissioner's Court. We are expecting to hear from Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings, and then Dr. Daniel Varga with Texas Health Resources. Those are the same folks that have been kind of following us through this entire way with this Ebola case here in Dallas. So we will bring that to you live as as it happens. Reporting live in Dallas, Jenny Anchando for Good Day.